Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here for Wex Photo Video, and today we're looking at the ultimate slider bundle from Rhino. Uh, this is an all-in-one kit that adds motion and cinematic movements to your live action or time-lapse footage, and it is perfect for the single shooter or small production crew who might work home in the studio or out in location uh, to really up their production game. Uh, so today we're gonna delve in and see what you get inside, as well as look at the basic features that make this a great bit of kit for using out in the field. So on opening the slider bundle, you'll be greeted by everything you need to add cinematic motion to your movies. Of course, I have the carbon fiber setup. This is the 24 inch rail system. These support up to 6.8 kilos. Now the carbon fiber rails are perfect for everything from your small compact system camera all the way up to something like an FS7. So you're not gonna have any problems if you're starting off with a small production and then eventually looking to build up your camera arsenal. The system, the core, has multiple mounting options. You've got the feet at the end, the all-terrain feet, that are perfect if you want to do a desk setup, position it on a wall or low on the ground. And then you also have a cheese board in the middle that you can attach a tripod plate, as I have here, or directly to a tripod that has a leveling base um, just for an easy attachment out in the field. It's really strong, really durable, and really very well built. The whole thing feels absolutely bulletproof. Now, additionally, you will also get included within the kit the Rhino Motion Controller. Now, this has the electronic um, abilities to the slider. Um, and everything is here. This has the battery house within it and the motor, um, and it controls all. It lasts up to seven hours battery life. That's fantastic. And using it out in the field, I've never had any problems. And from the motion controller itself, I can set up everything from my moves, my live action, as well as my time lapse in one easy controller. Basically, it just has two buttons and a scroll wheel and makes it very simple operation when you're working out in the field. Um, and as a single shooter, you can also set up moves that are fantastic if you want a secondary camera to constantly be shooting and getting a different angle whilst you're working on your main camera. But, you know, very handy bit of kit. Now, additionally within the kit, you also get the Arc from Rhino. Now, this adds another level of just cinematic possibility to your slider. Um, what it does, it allows you the ability to pan um, your camera as it moves along the rails, meaning that you can hold focus on a single item in the middle, or of course, you can make an interesting time lapse that's gonna move from one direction to another over time. This also has a built-in battery inside, so it doesn't run off the controller, and you get a bit longer life from the whole system um, that's really fantastic. It's quite a quiet motor, you can't really hear it working, um, but that's really good. It's simple, has a nice LCD display on the front so you can check everything once it's all paired, and it's a really simple solution that mounts up very quickly. One area where the Ultimate Slider Bundle from Rhino is fantastic for the single shooter is that of the interview piece where you want your A camera recording your talent, but simultaneously you want a second camera recording a tracking movement alongside to add interest into the frame. The Rhino Motion is perfect for this because you can add the loop feature into the motion control settings. That basically means you can create a repeating move that's gonna function throughout an interview segment. That means that you can create a constantly moving camera that is gonna record in tandem to your A cam you don't have to worry about it because it's just going to take care of itself so you can concentrate on your A camera, get that perfect footage and know that when you come to finish up the interview, you've got a secondary angle with movement added for those really interesting B-roll shots that really up your production value. Setting up a move with Rhino Motion Control is simple and easy to do. And after choosing your slider and pairing it with the arc, you'll navigate into the Create a Move section in the Live Motion Controls. On selecting, the camera will move to its in point, giving the ability to set the desired angle by turning the wheel on the controller to pan to your desired view. Once this has been selected, the camera will proceed to the out point, once again giving you the option to move the camera to your desired viewpoint. Once this has been selected, you'll be now given a second menu with more advanced options for your move, such as reducing the length of travel by changing the in and out points so you don't have to use the entire length of the rails. Below this, you can then choose your duration for the slide, taking it from five minutes for a slow interview piece through to a couple of seconds for a fast action piece. Now once this has been done, you can then add ramp into your shots, allowing you to have a gradual increase in speed for a more cinematic effect and feel to your footage. Below this, the final option you can choose is to add loop into your shots, giving you perfect hands-free operation for a second angle whilst you're busy concentrating on your A camera. Simple and easy to do. 
So this afternoon I'm out on location and getting set up for some time-lapse photography and the Ultimate Slider Bundle is brilliant for this, just for adding those extra movements into your footage to add that extra interest. Now I've gone ahead and paired the Arc up with the slider and one of the great things I love about this system is the fact of the battery life. I can easily get two or three time lapses done on location without having to worry about recharging. That's brilliant uh, when you want to move quickly and keep working. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go into the time lapse settings now uh, to get started. And here I'm greeted by two options to do a simple time lapse or a more advanced time lapse. Now the advanced time lapse settings allow you to do features such as stopping the, from the, the carriage from moving every time it's going to create an exposure. That's fantastic for nighttime time lapses where you don't want to add any movement to your slow shutter speed shots. Um, and also you can actually take control of the camera's parameters itself from the Rhino system and control everything from the slider. But today I don't need that. I'm gonna go into the simple time lapse functions and it's gonna ask me if I'm ready to calibrate. So that's all done. And now it's gonna ask me to turn the wheel to set my in point. So checking on my camera, I can just look um, and uh, just about there is perfect. It's now gonna move it to the other end of the slider so I can set my out point. And turning the wheel, I want to do a nice move like so and perfect, ready to go. It's now gonna ask me a few more settings before we get started. The distance, for example, if I want to shorten the level of travel, but for this, I want to use the whole length of the slider. Which direction I want to go, if I want to go from uh, left to right or right to left, but here, I want to move from the uh, left to the right. And then it's gonna ask me for the duration. I've got mine set up for half an hour today that should be perfect for this move. And then the ramp set to two inches, just to give that slow, gradual increase into my shot. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press start. With start, it's gonna to move to my in point and then I can simply set go on my time-lapse, press go on the slider, and now simply sit back, grab a coffee and wait for your time-lapse to produce. So this afternoon, I'm cracking on with a second time-lapse and I've got loads of juice left for a third one before I lose the light this evening. You know, overall, I've been really impressed by the Ultimate Slider Bundle from Rhino. It really is a fantastic system for adding that motion into your live action or time-lapse footage. And it really is just so simple to use out in the field. The motion controller sets your moves up in, you know, a matter of minutes and you can have everything ready to go um, just in the blink of an eye. The battery life of seven hours from the motion controller is fantastic for working in the field because you never are looking for a plug or anything like that. You just know you can crack on and shoot your footage. The Arc does have a slightly reduced battery life, you know, more the five hour mark. But I think the biggest problem with that is the fact that it takes quite a long time to recharge through the USB port. But you know, if you plug it in overnight, it's not a problem at all. Wake up the next morning and you are ready to shoot. You know, overall, it's a fantastic system and one that I really can't wait to get out and use more in the future. And of course, with the load capacity, I know that long term, this is gonna have a huge amount of longevity within my kit, because if I update to a bigger camera, it's easily gonna be able to support it, meaning that it's never gonna be redundant and I can use it for the rest of my career. That, you know, is a really great benefit of this system. Overall, I'm really happy that I've invested in this, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone else looking to add motion into their shots. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any more questions about the Ultimate Slider Bundle from Rhino, feel free to drop them in the comments below, and either myself or the team from Wex Photo Video will be more than happy to get back to you. I'm gonna crack on shooting, and feel free to join us again soon for more content from Wex Photo Video.